Do you consider yourself a homesteader or a prepper? You'd be amazed how similar they are. The core belief of homesteaders and preppers is self-sustainability. Both groups believe that they are self-sustainable with little or no help from outside sources. So homesteading is a life lived purposely to be self-sustainable. Mostly, they um, provide all, they grow their food, they can it, they preserve it, they dry it. Um, they try to self-sustain themselves off of their land with little help from anybody else. A lot of homesteaders I know will buy uh, garden uh, to vegetables and things like that from other homesteaders uh, or farmers markets and places like that that they still consider that being uh, pretty much self-sufficient. They're not, they're not burdening the, uh, gr going to the grocery stores and uh, purchasing from like commercial outlets. So preppers prepare for any kind of disaster. They are not hoarders, but they will put up enough to sustain, some preppers put up enough to sustain them for a year. Um, and some people, um, they, they call them like weirdos or um, hoarders or just different names, different negative names. But however, these people are gold. They, they are the ones that if anything happens, the grid goes down, um, any, uh, we're without power sources for any length of time. Um, many things could happen to our country. We don't know um, in today's world what's gonna happen. But uh, these are the people that are gonna be the ones you go to. They're gonna have um, supplies. And homesteaders are the same. Homesteaders will have a great supply of food uh, and they'll have the knowledge on how to grow the food. Uh, they'll also have animals and so they'll be able to sustain themselves. Like if they raise chickens, then they'll be able to eat their chickens um, and, and have more chickens so they can keep producing and keep surviving off of their homestead. So very interesting, homesteaders and preppers, there's so many similarities, so many. I think my husband and I are a little bit of both. Um, we're, we're definitely homesteaders. We have our chickens, uh, we can, we preserve, we definitely support farmer's market. Uh, at the same time though, we do stock some things ahead. We will stock ahead rice and beans, lighters, uh, water, uh, things like that that we know um, that we may need, um, we make sure we have it ahead. You can live a long time off of beans and rice. So what do you think you are? Do you think you're a homesteader or a prepper? A lot of similarities, let's keep going. If I was gonna use one word to sum up a homesteader, it would be stewardship. They have stewardship over the land, over the animals, over their lives, over their home. They uh, possess stewardship. One word to sum up, Preppers would be survivalist because that's their whole goal is to survive. A prepper's mindset is that in the event of a disaster, they're going to survive. So there's, there's several similarities and I wanna read them off to you. One is food security or food storage. They both same, they're on the same page with that. Um, another one is medical care. Both of them will learn how to do first aid, minor first aid. Um, they'll read books, they'll figure it out, uh, and they'll, they'll figure out about herbs, exactly how to use herbs in the event that they have to do it all on their own. The other thing that's similar, very similar, is they're, is they're big learners. Homesteaders and preppers read, they learn, they, they uh, have community, they ask other people doing the same thing, they learn from each other. Big learners, both, both groups are big learners. Both groups have a lot of self-confidence. They have the confidence that they can do this, and they, they can do it without, um, help from the uh, outside that you know that they have confidence. Both groups have strong values. They both do everything they can to better themselves. Both are self-reliant. They, um, they depend on themselves and they depend on themselves to save themselves. They don't depend on anybody else. So long, homesteaders is long survivability. Preppers is short-term survivability. So there's a difference too. Homesteaders look at the long the long haul. They'll be a homesteader for years, you know, maybe the rest of their life. Preppers is for the short term, for the short disaster that happens, that they can make it through that disaster. Whether you're a homesteader or a prepper, my question would be is, are you going to be able to sustain yourself 
through any kind of uh, natural disaster or possibly foreign disaster or man-made disaster. For instance, I talk about the uh, power grid going down. If the power grid goes down, how long from what you have right now in your house are you gonna be able to survive? So that's a big question. I think that we could survive quite a, quite a while, but we live on a piece of land where we can build a fire, we can cook outside, we have a well. Um, there's certain things that go along with that and we know how to grow vegetables. And But if you live in an apartment, tell me. Tell me what, what, what things you have set up in the event of a disaster, or even just a tornado goes through and takes your electric out. Uh, what type of things do you have set up? I would love to learn about that. So, All right, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you like my content, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. God bless.